Most of us grew up with the idea that more fluoride meant better teeth. And health officials believe that putting fluoride in water is one of the top 10 public health accomplishments of the last century. But new studies now say that too much fluoride is damaging the teeth of more than one in three teens. So for the first time in nearly 50 years, the federal government is reversing course and recommending less fluoride in water. Here's Ron Claiborne. Ever since the 1940s, fluoride has been artificially added to drinking water to help fight tooth decay. It's Isn't been credited beautiful? with reducing cavities by up to 50 percent. But even then, there were critics who complained about injecting a chemical into drinking water, a view satirized in the 1960s movie Dr. Strangelove. Do you realize that fluoridation is the most monstrously conceived and dangerous communist plot we have ever had to face. But today the federal government called for reducing the amount of fluoride in water to protect children from a tooth disease called fluorosis, which stains and even erodes teeth. It affects as many as a third of American children. Making this adjustment now will uh, promote public health, uh, improve oral health, and reduce rates of fluorosis. There's a twinkle in your eye. When there's fluoride for their teeth. For years, fluoride has been added to toothpaste and is in other products we eat and drink. The government says Americans are now ingesting too much fluoride. Its new recommendation, no more than 0.7 milligrams of fluoride for every liter of drinking water, down from 1.2 milligrams a liter. Cities such as New York, Chicago, and Minneapolis, and many others, whose water has higher amounts of fluoride, would have to reduce them to meet the new target. Dr. Griffin Cole of Austin, Texas, says he has treated some severe cases of fluorosis in children. The teeth become brittle, become weak, and you have to treat them with either crowns or new facings, and it can be very costly. Critics say fluoride can cause greater damage than just brittle teeth. Even the National Research Council, whose 2006 report was cited today by the EPA, linked it to bone damage and increased risk of fractures. The government says there's no evidence fluoride causes serious illness. The only concern for now, the potentially serious damage to children's teeth. And the president of the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry says parents need to be especially vigilant about all the ways that children can ingest fluoride, including swallowing toothpaste. His advice, give them only a pea-sized amount on the toothbrush to make it much less likely they'll end up eating a big glob of toothpaste. <laughs> with fluoride on it. So don't overdo that rinse either. I don't overdo the rinse. Okay, Ron, thanks.